Hello traders it's Monday morning 8 57 a.m. Australian time it is uh, what is it uh, New York time it's about 6:55, 6 57 sorry uh, New York time so I was about to record a short training video on trading the globe accession so I've just jumped in here on a 2t2 trade and so I'm a little unprepared for this but I just thought I'd grab this on the screen as we're about to discuss a number of opportunities on different markets I'll just be covering uh, market depth uh, this is the NQ we'll be talking about the uh, market depth here during the globe session on the ES and a few other markets and remembering as I mentioned it's Sunday night US time so we tend to have lower volume but if you're a one to five contract trader there are some very good trading opportunities and it's a great way if you have uh, if you're currently working it's a great way to cut your teeth if you like before you give your full-time job up and become a full-time day trader so we'll come back to this after we see what happens with this trade and I'll explain this trade in detail let me get back down here here it is here so we'll come back to this so well, on this NQ trade I'm just after uh, here 12 ticks so we're working our way down I'll go to break even at 11 ticks now 12 ticks is uh, $60 per contract and we're short five so uh, the markets very very slow whoops there goes the uh, mobile phone my apology traders my uh, darling wife just giving me a call and uh, so we can see here we were filled we could have uh, easily got our 14 ticks uh, on this trade only uh, got out there at 12 it took a little while to tick through which is fairly typical on a Sunday or even during the globe session uh, the bid asks there were sort of four to 15 contracts on either side uh, on the bids of the us right now so if you're using a limit order it may take you look sometimes you'll be filled on five contracts straight away other times it'll take five six minutes so it really depends but we'll come back to this because there's a lot I want to talk about in trading the globex session so I'll pause this and uh, I'll do a bit more trading and finish these powerpoints and we'll come back to this hello traders we have a, another potential setup here it's it's very early days this is on CL so we are looking at CL at the moment uh, I'm still preparing a few things and uh, so it's not quite ready to record but I just saw this potential setup now we may go straight through this we'll see what happens but I just wanted to point this out very early there is a potential short setting up we'll know more in a few minutes time hello traders welcome back to this uh, recording trading in the globex session how tradable are the futures or Forex market after New York closes and I already started recording this so you saw me fire off a quick trade on the NQ and we'll discuss a number of trading opportunities but the real purpose of this recording is to I suppose really uh, give new traders particularly new traders an overview that there are still some great trading opportunities once the New York uh, session closes now as we get underway as always I do need to put the disclaimer up there is a risk in trading if you're watching this video for the first time or one of my videos for the first time however I, I am just thinking about this most of the traders watching this will be members so of course you see this uh, disclaimer on every one of my videos so one of the greatest challenges are for many traders is that they have a full-time job so many traders want to learn how to trade but they're concerned about when they get home from work is there anything happening so I'm going to show you there's some great opportunities for mastering the art of day trading during the globex session now I also wanted to put this uh, little statement up I'd rather be an optimist and wrong some of the time than a pessimist and right all of the time try to stop looking for reasons why you can't make money during the globex session and seek out reasons why the globex session or why you can make money during a session one of the challenges I, I have as an educated now is uh, in dealing with uh, hundreds of traders is the natural skepticism that traders have I want you to change your thinking start looking for reasons why they 
do work and I promise you it'll have a dramatic improvement on your trading results now there's nothing wrong with being skeptical and wanting to verify a move or a trade setup or whatever but at least be open-minded that's really important anyway as us putting this PowerPoint together it's something I just saw that slide there and I thought I've got to put this up I think it's really relevant okay let's now get back into the main purpose of this video now many of you have heard me talk about target five by five now how to make $200 a day net per contract you trade in the enormous amount of wealth over a period of time you can create now the Globex session for those traders that are getting home from work or those that perhaps want to trade a slower market you can really achieve these sorts of results during the Globex session now as a reminder traders uh, the reason we're after $200 per contract is you can see the compound effect on this table that is every time so if we start off with $5,000 when we get to $10,000 which has taken us five weeks to double our money we start trading two contracts when we double the money uh, once again we start trading three so if you like we're earning the right to increase the amount of contracts that we're trading and if we look down further down here within 16 weeks we're earning ten thousand dollars a week now once again traders stop looking for reasons why it won't work okay I promise you um, you know we, we head in the direction that we're facing if we're facing a way that I could never do this guess what you're never going to do it to get here you only need to be earning two hundred dollars a day that's five by five tick trades a day on say on CL now as I'm about to show you you can do that during the Globex session but first of all you need to start to develop a belief that it is possible that is just so important now there are three main sessions each day we've got New York once New York uh, closes the markets closed uh, particularly on of course for the uh, futures markets it's closed for an hour they reopen when we reopen we're in the Asian session and then after Asia we roll the markets still open but we roll into London now there are a number of key considerations that we need to have with all of these three markets first of all New York generally of course is a lot faster so we're going to be using a much higher time frame generally speaking that is the type of chart that we're trading so we need to consider the speed of the market the stops that we use our targets and margins and the time in trade so I just want to quickly explain each of those for so the speed of a market New York of course is very very fast generally speaking so you're going to increase generally the time frame so instead of say using a 550 tick chart uh, on the ES you might drop that down to maybe a 144 tick chart on the ES etc so you're going to change the time frame when we roll into Asia that is you're going to drop that that way down and as we then move from the Asian market into London you're going to increase the time frame because London can really speed up particularly for the Forex markets so all of those may affect your stops may affect your targets and the point I wanted to bring up here with the margins that is the day trade trading margins now just say for an example with I think TradeStation which is my broker and platform I think the margin there to open an account and trade per NQ contract is about 4,400 let's just say it's 5,000 just round it off at five when you trade after hours a lot of brokers and, and sorry I'm jumping ahead there uh, a lot of brokers during New York will give you what they call the day trading margin they might say look you can trade each contract with only five hundred eight hundred dollars so instead of a full margin of five thousand I'll allow you to trade a lot more and that's because of liquidity there's a lot more liquidity in the market after hours that can really drop down during the Globex session now recently TradeStation dramatically dropped the margin requirements of Globex session so I think it's might even be gee, it might even be the day trading margin on the NQ the ES so the margins are a lot lower but when it comes to gold and uh, quite a number of contracts where you don't have the liquidity your margins to trade are a lot greater but let's also not forget then traders our risk 
just because during the New York session you can say trade an ES contract with only a thousand dollars let's not forget if you've got say a $80 stop that's still 8% well above your 2% risk rule so that's another discussion for another time and it's on a lot of my videos I talk about that but you still need to consider that now another important thing which really takes some getting used to is a time in a trade during either particularly the Asian not as bad as London but it can slow down but particularly during the Asian Asian session where New York for the, a trade will fire off and be over and done within seconds yes that can happen during the Asian Asian session but it's a lot slower so you need to get used to that and uh, and it does take some getting used to so it's something I want you just to uh, think about now another question that comes up regularly is are there plenty of trades or I am I going to get my the, the trading opportunities during the uh, Asian or London session well going by the timestamp here this is uh, uh, straight this is sorry this is New York time and so this is three hours before the open of New York and just some a uh, couple of 34s I fired off and uh, an 89 some nice winners you'll get some great tr you'll still get some great trends during the Asian and London session you really will now one of the considerations though is market depth so what we're looking at here this is the market depth I took an hour after the uh, market open this morning so it's Monday morning it's the 11th of the 6th 2018 so it's Sunday night in the US so the first one we're looking at here is the NQ so we can see here the bid and offers there's only seven six you know there's not a lot of contracts and so I'm placing a five lot trade it took me about five minutes to get filled on a limit order now if you went and executed five contracts on a market order you would quite possibly get two three sometimes four ticks slippage you need to allow for that so you can see here it's still fairly um, uh, thinly traded now it will pick up as the day goes on particularly you don't find it such a problem on Monday nights US you've got more uh, um, more of the US market are trading the market after hours of globe session but it as I mentioned it is Sunday night over there now we're looking at here the ES now on the ES we've got plenty of uh, volume here of course nothing like New York but there's still plenty of volume we can see 22 83 43 so you could execute five trades and now five contracts now remember when when you're using a market order you're jumping in front of a queue so you'll still get at least one tick slippage in most cases uh, we're looking at CL still plenty you've got not bad depth here so you can easily trade one to five contracts no problems on CL and just looking at gold you've got plenty on gold okay now remember as we say with the yellow metal with gold you want to make sure that um, uh, you've got a larger account it can be very volatile and so you really want to watch your counter trend trades with gold you know you're a lot safer trading with the trend now let's um, what I wanted to show you traders is to go and have a look at the market so let's start off by looking at gold so we're looking at gold here we're looking at a custom Renko uh, during the globe session I like a two tick candle which is what we're looking at here now this is six uh, uh, this is 6 p.m. Eastern Standard uh, when the market opened now this trade was eight minutes later so this is uh, and for members in uh, watching this you know we've got a nice uh, little double top a nice t7 had a really nice um, uh, 200 overshoot and it's a 200 B on the AC really that would have been a really nice trade as well but you've got to watch gold we're in a period of consolidation and so you never know when it's going to take off so you want to be very careful of gold right now but the point I want to bring up there's some really nice trades to begin with we're now looking at ES now the ES uh, market opened up at uh, you can't really see it's 5 p.m. here so we had a really nice pivot bounce and so generally you could you'll find and by the way these are two tick $25 candles with the ES it's you know you, you don't get anywhere near the volatility is what we're going to get generally speaking to gold CL 
uh, or um, uh, sorry my ums and ahs or the NQ so you will get some nice transform but not the same so uh, here you would have had a nice little winner uh, members watch and remember be very careful of your first 34 B after a t19 so that was a no but then you had your 89 you had another nice pivot bounce there an 89 lovely Lewis it's a triple bottom basically another t7 you've come up you got a 200 overshoot now you've got a nice if you look at what have you got there right there you've got your t19 okay so we can see we've got some nice divergence there you've got a higher high on price and uh, you've got nice divergence on the platinum now let's go and have a look at uh, the CL so CL I think I referred to this as I was preparing the the um, recording earlier I think it re uh, referred to this and I mentioned that we had a nice little bounce setting up we had a short well there it was there so I didn't jump in on this one I was preparing the PowerPoint doing a few other things so that was that uh, short that I mentioned earlier hadn't even we didn't even have a red candle there but that was a nice short then it turned into a 34b it's now traveled up to virtually you can't really see it there but you've got to pivot up there so you've got a nice pivot bounce there nice little bit of divergence and this by the way traders for our members this is a 2d so you've got a 2d short right there now so let's go and have a look at the NQ so the NQ going back to what we had here so when the market opened and this is fairly typical and I won't scroll right back being Monday morning in Australian or Sunday night you'll get a great deal of movement in the first few minutes and it's basically untradeable uh, it moves that quickly so if we go right back here and I'm um, just going back here so the market opens just going back 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 so it opened right back here and so this is one thing traders always remember that if you're using Renko or range charts uh, or even ticket times you need to check your timestamp because all of these were trades as much as they would have been beautiful trades uh, but they were not tradable okay they were just too fast so this is where all of a sudden we get to a market that is now tradable so you had a lovely uh, 200b t7 t19 with divergence thank you very much a great t7 down here we rallied up for a uh, 200 on the AC it's also a 1d okay you had a t10 a really nice t10 form I jumped in on this one which was a t2 by the way jumped out now this is where uh, you can really using your ATR you can pick a lot of these really nice moves up uh, or you could use the trigger line I would have been out using the trigger line here this uh, little mo this little purple line ignore that it's just something I'm trying from a member sent to me so I'm just testing that uh, we come down we had a fantastic uh, pivot bounce this is just your classic t19 pivot bounce you would have been on that one we rallied back up for another 200 then a 34 and so you can see there's been some great and then you've ended up with here what have I got here this is your classic 2d so traders uh, members watching this this is just your everyday run-of-the-mill uh, high high uh, 2d setup after a 34b and I think that's uh, all the trades there that I really wanted to let me just see was there anything on this sorry traders I'm just going back and making sure that I've got everything up that I wanted to uh, show you yep I think I've pulled all of those up so there are some great opportunities traders in trading Globex sometimes you'll find the first 10 15 minutes well not sometimes virtually every time after the market opens for Globex it's not traded because it'll take off like a rocket after either being closed for the weekend or after being closed for an hour uh, the same thing applies to Forex okay now you can of course trade the Forex futures which is what I prefer or if you're trading uh, the Forex market itself you'll still get some moves during the Asian session but the big mover of course is as we head towards the London open and trading the London market now just for those members uh, that uh, are watching this very very quickly of course you can join my private group coaching session where I'll actually coach you live for 12 
two hour session 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Tuesday Wednesdays and Thursdays three days a week for four for four weeks that's 24 hours of live focus training so what we're doing traders is we're reviewing the trade setups from the New York session from multiple markets we're looking for patterns we're looking for our classic setups as well as that we're looking for the patterns that I just showed you for an example as they set up in real time so we're looking if you like at the far right hand side of the chart as they set up so it's a great way of further fast tracking your learning now just drop me an email if you want further information uh, the classes do fill very very quickly I think we've only got two seats available for the next class but uh, they're very very popular now for new members if you're watching this everything you need is in the day traders fast track program let's not forget that but if you want live training you're getting basically 24 hours of live training for 497 now if you are a new member or watching this for the first time go to my website request my free uh, uh, ebook of course subscribe to my channel and for $197 you can get all of my videos my indicators all of my strategies that's it the only actually when I say there's no upsell the only upsell only thing you can do is either hire me as your personal coach or join my group coaching should you choose to otherwise there's nothing else to buy you get everything for $197 so in recapping traders trading the Globex session there are some fantastic opportunities during Globex you just need to be patient because if you go from the New York session jumping into the Asian session which is what I call it it's very <laughs> it's a lot slower so you need to almost put a big um, post note in front of you uh, remember the time frame all right because <laughs> you, you do need to think differently so traders hopefully uh, you picked up some uh, ideas here uh, there's some great opportunities now let me go back and try to pick up some trades thanks traders